Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Your Vegetable Father Plays. My name is Dad Radish, and I'm your Vegetable Father. So, we're back with No More Profit. It's the second session, so we made it through the first area yesterday, and um, yeah, now we're, uh, now we're in the new zone. I think I inadvertently activated uh, <laughs> controller mode. <laughs> Let me see if I can get my mouse back. I don't know how I did this. Uh, controller mode cursor. Alright, we're gonna take a break for a second so you can get it back. Alright, I like that better. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to continue from where we left off in the last game. We finished up here at the Ziggurat. Uh, we're going to leave camp now. And... Uh, yeah. Um, pardon me while I just double check on my stream. Uh, Ob is complaining a little bit, Twitch isn't complaining too much. Okay, so um, we're going to go pick um, one of these areas, and I think I'm going to pick the shorter one. Um, enemies are 2 to 5, it'll give us a little bit of an easier ramp upwards. Um, so yeah. Alright, so this is the route we're taking. 15 nodes. How many nodes are we away in the shortest version? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So just a reminder that each of these nodes takes 10, roughly 10 um, food to get to. So that's a good baseline to go by is just, um, you know, it's going to take, what, what did I count there, 11? It's going to take at least um, uh, uh, 110 food to get there, so we can make it. Um, we can take a couple detours. Probably wouldn't hurt to grab some uh, to grab a food node on the way, uh, or maybe just a trade goods node. So maybe we do this, kind of loop up around. Don't mind that. A skilled teacher could learn some learn some things. We have a chance at a market here um, and a good rest site. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So we'll loop up around this way. The Outriders reported loud animal noises not far off tr the track. Uh, we took an armed group out there finding a large predator caught in a pit. Its hind leg was impaled by stakes, apparently in a trap set by some local hunters. Um, okay. Let Naughty heal it. Our battlefield healer. Uh, yeah, I like this. Naughty, with the help of some others, slowly earned the animal's trust by feeding it. Then they freed it and treated its like. The animal made pitiful sounds, but when we were done, we had made a new friend. Stoked! What beast did we get here? A roaring Janwar. Fury, push the first enemy follower in the opposing row. So push, um, moves it to the back of the row, and then everything else shuffles forward. It's useful. I don't think we have a lot of uh, push effects yet. Uh, we get to move on. So these, um, these uh, kind of yellower uh, paths, connectors to the node, these are um, desert or difficult terrain, so. We found a dead pack animal that must have gotten separated from its caravan. Its carcass was rotten, but some of the canned food in its cargo packs, bags was still good to go. Take it. Alright, one more desert um, travel and then we can 
cross upwards into this area. The Outriders stopped the convoy quickly when they saw the rusting tower looming in the distance. As we scouted closer, it was clear that the, from the military garb and the inhabitants of the Raj Guard men the tower, but it was too late as we too had been found. A booming voice came from the top of the tower. You are in the land of the Raj. Reveal yourselves or we will shoot. Hmm. I, hmm. Kind of made a bad impression with the Raj. Um, let's shoot first. That's not kind of our MO, but... We tried firing a barrage of gunfire in response, catching some of the guards unaware. However, they all quickly dove into cover and fired back. So we're in a fight now. Um, the elite guard, lightning strike raids, and solid armor make for a frightening combination. Okay, I don't think we're going to make any changes here. Let's just go for it. Um, too expensive. Uh, see if we can get, get something we can drop earlier than next turn. Not too mad about that. Um, hmm. Let's go with this. And I kind of want to hold on to this quick shot. I would, uh, hmm. You kind of want to use the energy. That is like what that's for. But also, um, this follower's first strike, this could make a big difference um, next turn. onto it. Yeah. See? See? Um. So the first strike we can just get him out of there. Swap for something a little bigger. Yeah, it's okay with me. How do we use this? Okay, six is a lot. Can't quite get there. Uh, this taunt is good. We can start making our way. Yeah, so this is just going to go next turn. This is going to be how it is. Started with a lot of energy right off the bat. Bummer. Okay, I can deal three, four, five. Uh, let's see. I think this will give us the damage we need. Cool, did it. Meat and sweets. Took a wound. With the guards taking care of, our path forward was clear. We took a moment to explore the resting tower in the large cylindrical room that made up the top. The inside was half full of water and be turned into a makeshift command center, uh, with holes being cut out to form windows. Quickly, we refilled our water supplies and moved forward. All right. Now, I think to make a choice here about whether or not to um, keep this warrior monk out. Um, it's a four drop, became a three drop because of the wound. Well, what replacement can I make here? At the end of any turn, if you have armor, lose one armor and gain one one. So there's some synergy here. It's interesting. Yeah, these are all union. Um, same here. Let's get the ranger in there. Let's see. Let's see how that kind of uh, kind of does this. All right, so we're going into a bigger battle here. This might be a good time to use my focus points to. Um, so with every focus point, you can remove a card out of your uh, leader deck. Um, and these are kind of not great for tempo. Um, use up a whole energy. Um, just to get some cards, and it's rare that I've like played all my cards, so I think these are the ones to go. Um, just pop in the chat real quick. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, I think I, I would much rather have pretty much any of these other cards. I think so. Do I have any equipment? Oh, wow. 
feel like it's a little rare to get this far without grabbing getting any equipment, but... Okay, good rewards, well defended. Let's just double check this is what we want to do. We want to hit this teacher. If we take a lot of damage here, we can go to the camp instead. Um, we could actually even double back here. So, we have choices. So, let's make use of them. We came into a strange new landscape which oddly lacked any vegetation. The ground was uncomfortably hot, and the air reeked of rotten eggs. Two shabby-looking fellows with gas masks, weathered gray ponchos, and spears waited for us in the middle of the road. They warned us of the treacherous trail ahead and offered their services as guides. Mm. Okay, at 21 batteries, I feel like this is kind of steep. On the other hand, we're going to go into this um, tough fight, and I, I don't... W tough fight, good rewards, and I'd, I'd rather not go into it weaker, so we're going to take this. The price was high, tell me about it, but we might have suffered terrible losses without their guidance. The road proved to be rather dangerous. One step to the side and we could have been swallowed by sinkholes or drowned in toxic mud. Alright. What seemed like a peaceful and quiet evening was interrupted by shots and shouts and gunfire coming from the direction of our first wagon. We grabbed our weapons and prepared to confront the attackers. All right. Let's go. The engineers learned to make use of all manner of machines to help turn the tide on the battlefield. All right, let's go. Mm, much rather have a four drop, I think. So, and how do I feel about this? This is okay. This is a good... This is, uh, This feels like a good thing to have. Alright, we'll go with this. It's okay. So, um... What happens with this? Revenge. Deal two damage to neighboring targets. So we don't want to be next to that. Attacker's Convoy gains altruism points. So yeah, let's uh, deploy up here. Try to... Uh, why does it deploy down there? <laughs> That's really upsetting. Okay. Uh, what is the incite keyword? The effects of this unit are triggered whenever its owner plays it. We'll play this first. Um, play down here. Oh, that's what I wanted to use. Uh, that is okay. Uh, we'll kind of make them for us here. Alright, is this a good one to use? Yeah, I think that gets us a lot of value. Do we have lethal? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's see. So 5, five 6, 7, and we get 10. 8, 9, 10. So we're going to actually get there. No taunt. Just going to attack. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, do we want this care package? Can we, like, safely get it? I think we can. Yeah, let's go for it. Ah, taunt. We just need to deal three, so this I do it here. Cool. Fruits, bones, uh slaves. Alright. <laughs> um first strike that turns to tends to be valuable and a sniper can attack even if it's not in a front line position. Wow, a five two. It's the first time I've seen the infiltrator card. Useful. Uh traded in four damage for it. Dead bodies of our enemies littered the area. 
So I'm going to see how many different ways I can say that bit of dialogue text. Cause I've seen it probably six or seven times now. So that's that's going to be the goal there. All right, going to dip over. Uh, just check uh, stream health quality. Taking a little while to render frames. Rob's is complaining about it, but Twitch thinks everything's okay. So we'll keep on keeping on with that. Alright. Um, we get to choose a... Yeah, this teacher shrine. We didn't take that much damage, so... Um, oh yeah, we can double back. So, learn new leader cards. Uh, it takes ten. The teacher class is a spider. That's cool. Well, let's um, sell first. Just make sure these are just trade goods, so there's no point other than selling them. Um, feel pretty good about food. Scorch iron is cool. You can stoke a friendly follower to get two, plus two, minus one. That tends to be a pretty good um, ability. So, um, I don't know. Let's. Let's learn first. And let's see. Okay, pick a card to learn. So let me just double check. Um, all right. Uh, chat, what card would you like to see here? I'll give us a couple of uh, seconds to put something in. Spoiler, there's nobody in chat. I'm just rehearsing <laughs> for when uh, someone is. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Inspired Assault, all your followers with strength 3 gain, or less gain, plus 2 plus 0. Mind Shredder, deal 8 times 2 damage to a random unit. Ooh, it's... Uh, oh, they're all rare. It's from the card frames. Okay, I like this because it's a 2 drop and about when this happens, I think a lot of uh, my followers will have uh, strength 3 or less. I think that's true. Mind Shredder. Four is a lot. Um, for not, yeah, let's do this. Alright, let's return to the camp. Alright, if I can sell something, then I can buy the Scorch Iron. So maybe I should sell, uh, like, the tea. Sweets are kind of good. Weirdly. Advantageous position is not very good, but it's 15, so it's the round number. Uh, usually takes five hope to travel somewhere, so this is like three full, and this is like two and change. So uh, I guess seeing as I have two sweets, little we'll sell one of these, and I will buy the scorch iron. All right, let's equip it, and let's move on. So, find trade goods here. After we made camp, a scout found an old shack nearby. When we searched it, we stumbled upon some valuables and a badly hidden stash. That is not that many batteries, but... I don't know. Can I complain? Not really. Um, so we go back and rest. Or we just press. we press. This isn't really that much damage. And then let me double check and see if I need to pull anybody off the line. Nope. We're all good. We're going to keep it on, keep it up. Our outrider spotted smoke in the distance. We arrived at a scene of carnage. A group of traders and their wagons has been attacked by hill tribe raiders, but managed to fend them off, albeit with heavy losses. They were in the middle of constructing a large pyre for at least a dozen bodies. Help them. Cost us a day, which I think we can spare um... Yeah, that's, that's not a lot. We sat for a while and helped them. Much of their food supplies had been destroyed with one of their wagons, so we gave them some of ours. In return, they traded us a decent piece of gear that had no owner anymore. Improvise shield. Uh, cool. Mm -hmm. So, gain two armor. Sets armor to one at the start of combat. Cool. 
The sharp tones of a signal whistle interrupt an otherwise perfectly peaceful afternoon. The outrider who had sounded that alarm was riding back to the camp, pursued by a gang of feral attackers armed with spears and guns. <laughs> with 50 people, you can scare them off with 50 cards. So I guess it's a battle. Feral Shaman. Healing and slinging curses are the daily business of a, sh of a shaman. Both are pretty useful on the battlefield. Alright, three energy. I'm going first. Um, seven health. I feel pretty good about our ability to get through that. Uh, okay. Five. A little bit on the imperfect side. Do I want to trade? Uh, I think my card set suggests that I don't want to do that, and I'm going first. So, all right, I'm okay with this. First strike, and draw uh, a leader card. All right. Let's trade it out. Alright, so with first strike we get to take one out, so we should do it. Hmm. Alright, so we'll take out three. Um, this one. We have him take a wound. Well, mm, yeah. Or should we just rush down that? The we want to be a little bit on the aggressive because of the first strike, so we don't want him to fall victim to this guy. So I do think that our move here is to trade. Um, This makes sense, even though... Does it? I don't know, I could pull the static charges... Um... Man, I hate not using this much energy, but... Um... Let's see, with three... Um, let's see, deal damage here that. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. <coughs> yeah, see, we can clear the board here. Um, let's see. This one damage. I don't accidentally uh, kill all my guys. <laughs> um, get this first strike off. Steal um, it all straight away. Alright, this is a pretty good board position. I like the design of this, but um, the card is so slow at four, um, you can't start gaining when until other followers are destroyed until after some time. So, alright, we got lethal here. Oh, I should have put my blessing on the other one. Uh, misplay. Alright. Um... The dead bodies of our enemies littered the area. Okay, what's next? A huge cloud of dust was heading towards us. Even from a long way off, we could spot a very large caravan with heavy wagons and a small army of guards. As they came closer, we saw the emblazoned banners of the Miners' Union, their soldiers clad in the uniforms of the Fist and armed with the ancient yet deadly pre-crash weapons. Big way. 
We moved our wagons to the side in order to let them pass. There was no need to give them any cause for offense. When they passed, we saw their cargo, ore, coal, and other minerals, precious substances that they were trading to other factions. Interesting. Our journey was abruptly halted by the yelled warnings of our outriders. We reached for our weapons. Suddenly, the enemies were upon us. All right. Skilled in the art of the tender, the Shuramus priests can keep their warriors standing when others would have long since fallen. Okay, so healing faction. Um, I get to go first. I appreciate that. The hermit goes in for zero. Um, pretty useful. All right. back here. Okay. Keep her replace cards. Okay. That's not the three job that I want to start with. If there's a healer, I think I want this as my four drop. This is always useful. Uh, yeah, so this is good. Hopefully I get some, some gas here. play this to try and put on as much pressure. Okay, that's sort of what I wanted from there. Yeah, this is kind of a no-brainer. Uh, clear. Taunt character. Put five damage on them. Taunt. Okay, that I don't have a way around. Okay. So, let's see, what are the lines here? Drop this, inspired assault. That makes no sense. Get both of these out, deal the two damage. Um, I could also, let's see, should I try and draw, I'm not going to be able to destroy all followers with strength 3 or less, so that is like the Hail Mary is to pull Merciless. Um, this doesn't help me that much, I think, so, whoa, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> cool, all right. Wow. Uh, all right. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> um, okay. Brad, edible. I'm still a little reeling a little bit. The the odds were not really in my favor, I think, there. But um, that's that's card games, I guess. All right, what a rush. Uh, this is the kind of rush you can get nowadays as a tired dad. <laughs> right, the dead body. Uh, let me let me find my my zone here. All right, the dead bodies of our enemies littered the area. All right, I think it was much like the last one. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Temple has an opportunity to heal and an active market. So I think this is like a twenty. The cost here is the hope because this is a ten. Uh, what is it, or 20 food round trip, but this is going to be a uh, 10 hope round trip and um, kind of running low, so it'll be 10 down, so it'll be 19 yeah, I mean we have some stuff, right, so um, where is my there it is 
Yeah. I think we should go to the market, though. Yeah, I think it makes sense. There's also a market and a source of new followers, but that's not really what we're looking for, I think. Um, before noon, we encountered a small band of pilgrims on foot while we're going to a temple. This kind of makes sense. Uh, they were carrying their belongings on their backs and holding sturdy walking sticks in their hands. Colorful pl prayer flags tied to their sticks and clothes fluttered in the wind. He greeted them and they returned the courtesy, yet kept a watchful distance. Good little flavor event. I appreciate that. We heard the chant of holy songs before we even spotted the temple. It was a small ramshackle building held together by colorful player frags, prayer flags. Two monks were leading the ceremony, all subtle gestures and gentle glances. Come, join us in prayer, the elder one called out to us. Now, I want to accept here, it says chance risky. I don't, I don't quite know what the chance risky means here. Um, so we'll do it. We should find out. We accepted and joined in with a small congregation. Many from the convoy followed us, kneeling on the dirty wooden floor. Our voices linked up with the holy chant. At the end of the ceremony, the old monk spoke. Her hoarse voice filled the room as she preached the virtues of cooperation. Reading from an old text, she passed on an uplifting story from the youth Abu Jaha. Uh, so, four hope, three believers. Okay, this is another one of the um, <clears throat> one of the alignment um, scores. So, we're mostly altruist. We have a little bit of scholar, and now we have a bit of believers. Um, okay. So, I'm fine with my 25 health. Uh, and I think I'd rather heal up you know, most of these wounds here. We have two more heal uses, so... Um, and again, a lot of food to trade for the healing. So, I think we are in okay shape. Um, all right. Um, uh, let's check out the market. A mace. Target or union or obstacle suffer suffers blackout. It loses all keywords, card text, and applied status effects. Uh, cool. Uh, we can sell our bones. Our bones. Some glorious animal vanquished and turned into sturdy materials for furniture, or jewelry, or tools. No Oxford comma. Dock a star. Thumbs down on Steam. Just kidding. Um... Okay, I don't know if we need to sell any of this yet, so I think we're kind of okay. Um, we might as well use this. So we're going to do this, get almost healed up all the way. Um, I have a level up. It takes 10 batteries. Uh, might as well do this. All right. Quick shot, relentless, or blind rage. I think relentless is a good one here. I have never really felt bad about it. Actually, it's strictly, it's just strictly better. Um, wait, let's see. It's strictly better than bolster, right? Uh, yeah. I thought I had more than these. Oh, two, two x, two x, right? Okay, good. <clears throat> is there anything that I should obviously get rid of in the deck? Static charge, I'm a little... Well, I guess now that I have Relentless, I should get rid of the bolster. Um, okay, that seems obvious. Um, I don't have any cargo goods yet. Alright, I think that, do that about does it. It's sort of what we came here for, so cool. Can we just... Oh no, we have to go node to node. I don't know if we'll hit an event on the other side of it. No. Okay. So yeah, let's let's roll over to this big fight. Okay, no interstitial. We were just setting up camp when shots were fired in our direction. We dove for cover, yelling orders over the gunfire. Time to fight. I'll take it. All right. So we go first. Two armor, nine health. That's um, kind of a lot. Um, okay. We got a three, we got a four. Uh, the Ordnance Runner has some cool 
properties. Yeah, okay. Uncomplicated. Spike trap. Shielded strain. When a follower joins the enemy, they take two damage. But it's shielded. Uh, it cannot be targeted by enemy leader cards or item powers. Ugh. Um, oh, it only triggers once? Okay, it only triggers once. The next thing I drop will take two damage. So... <laughs> Don't like it. Um, well, I guess it's two and then one. That's the, that's the play. Another way to do this. Um, it gains 2-2, two, two, so it'll be out of um, damage range. I like that better. So can't do it. Um, yeah, there's kind of no point in dropping this character, right? Because. Um, but then in the next turn, they're going to get so much tempo. At least if I drop this, there's a trade, or it doesn't quite trade. I have to handle that. Blackout is going to become a 4 3. I think I'll take that. Burst fire is what would be really sick here. Um, except I'm pretty close to lethal, right? So six, I need to get to eight. Seven, eight. Um, I think I get there, right? No taunt. Um, yeah, so do this. Not too bad. Fruits, batteries, and heretics join. Uh, two, one. When this unit is targeted by a leader card, it loses two life points. Wow, a one drop, four, three, or two drop, four, three, but wounded. The dead bodies of our enemies littered the area. Low on hope. We came upon the wreck of a large modified transporter sitting right next to the road. The vehicle looked in good condition and wasn't gutted yet. Who would leave a treasure like that just sitting next to the road? I'm gonna move on. <laughs> I've investigated that particular thing, uh, particular event too many times. The path ahead was blocked by a barricade made from wagons. We were confronted by a grim looking Shira missionary and her escort of masked holy warriors. Are you pure of heart? If you are, then you must tell us. We have heard rumors of a dreaded technopath in this region. Uh, we have seen no such techno demon. Chance is unlikely, I guess, to uh, convince them of this truth, and or I can just cop to it and say I am this operator. So, hmm. let's. Let's cop to it. I am this operator. She yelled at her warriors to purge us. One of her outriders caught her with a 
Crossbow bolt in the chest, then we aimed our weapons at the heavily armed Sharam gang to finish the job. Oof. Sharam Knight. The Sharamist Crusaders often follow aggressive tactics favoring speed and numbers. Um, at the start of your turn, deal 4 damage to the enemy leader. Okay. I'll take it. Let's see. We have a wounded... Oops. A wounded... What? Initiate. In the deck. And a raider. Wounded raider. So 3 drop become 2 drop. I realize it's also wounded, but... Um, let's go try and use this pry. I'm interested. Okay. Lots of twos. One of my uh, kind of favorite opening combos is this first strike with this bolster. So I think we're okay with this is pretty good. This is also good. Well, now. Delsa doesn't have first strike. Uh, well, let's just, we can just race. <laughs> I guess. Um, we can drop this in trade. I could do this and then do we have a three? I don't have a three. But this makes it a four a four one. Want to be somewhere. What to do here? At least it's a trade. For two. Okay. It's okay. The dead bodies of our enemies littered the area. Ugh. Getting a little tiresome. Alright, here we go. Um, let's go ahead and do some hope boosting activities. Edible, o edible oils. Okay, sure. Oh, butter, ghee, or other edible fats and oils can help make food a lot more nourishing and tasty. Draw a leader card. An additional convoy card. I really like the additional convoy card, so let's go ahead and bump that. Uh, defended by Tormented Leper. Okay. A colony of outcasts had formed around the city. The sick and undesired huddled together in a miniature town of tattered tents and improvised shacks. We passed by and, and uh, through its stench, through, through its stench, many of the convoy keeping their gazes down and their noses covered. Mm, okay. I, uh, we passed by and through its stench, many of the convoy keeping their gazes down and their noses covered. A figure emerged from the slums, covered head to toe in rags, and stumbled like a drunk towards us. Are you afraid? The figure slurred, pointing at a shocked Pragun. That's one of our... You should be. I have fought more battles than you ever could. Where's my thanks? Before I could reach the two, the argument had already turned hostile, and more of the slums inhabitants had joined in. Ooh, okay. This is a tormented leper, a level 4 boss. A rare few lepers have reached advanced stages of infection and retained their ability to fight. They are held together by pain and spite alone. Oof. Alright. Um, let's see. Three wounded here. Uh, pariah. Slave Gil Adiator. Uh, with first strike. Uh, let's put in the... Fresh one, and then a shepherd, uh, which is a three drop. Mm. 
They'll think that's okay. Alright, I'm okay with this. Um, a two with a one. A four and a five. Okay. Uh, when you take damage, all convoy cards in your hands gain plus one, plus oh. What? Okay. <laughs> um, man, I don't know what to do with that. Um, Alright, well, we're going to do this. Turn target units to its leader's hand. Alright, fine. Oh, boy. Alright. Uh, three drop with... I feel like this is going to be, like, a lot of board control. Um. Well, he only has two cards now, so... Whenever, when you take damage. Um, okay. I think we gotta clear this one out, because this uh, trading will end up bugging us a lot. Could do this in Merciless, and then I have, what, two left? What do I think is in here? A six drop? My other option, okay, I can clear this out, have this around, and drop a uh, two. Um, let's clear. Oh, that's funny. Didn't actually take damage, has armor. But okay. Okay, we're doing okay here. Um, gain one, two, it'll be a four, four, um, so it won't survive um, any of these interactions. Okay, the next one is just board building, I think. I mean, I can do this and trade. It'll survive one. Okay. I don't mind that. That burst fire again. AoE. Don't yet have, let's see, 15 cards remaining. It has more cards than I do. So this is just going to trigger, but there's only one here. Um, okay. Well, this gets us the one, so let's just see. Uh, wait, hold on. If I attack first, I can drop the one there. Uh-huh. It could come in handy. Okay, this is like a must-deal-with like kind of card. Um... Trades better with everything they have. Um, yeah, let's do that. 
We gotta do it. Okay, four trades, it just trades. I'll scrap anything. Deal a damage directly. Yeah, let's just do it. Go a little closer. Receiving damage deals two damage to your leader. Okay. Four, five, we need seven more damage. Two, one to everybody. That wasn't a great draw. Plus two, so three, wait. Nope. So this can trade with something. Six, eleven, six, uh, seventeen. It can deal seventeen to me. Um, let's see. Let's start cutting down sources here. Got there. Right. Fruits, fine fabrics, deserters. Trader. Uh, all convoy cards in your hands gain plus one, plus one. Uh, into that. Uh, gain stoic. That's an effect that I don't remember. Um, it goes on to the leader. All neighbor followers gain plus one, plus one. Cool. Not too bad. The dead bodies of our enemies litter the area. Our outriders, let me just double check. All right, cool, cool. Um, and just check in on stream. Yeah, all right. Our outriders reported that we were only a short distance away from the Union's gigantic home, Pit 9. We passed a heavily fortified checkpoint where we were searched and briefly interrogated by officers of the Fist, the Union's soldiers and enforcers. Then our path descended into the large valley, a broken landscape that looked like it had been devastated by giants with shovels. We made camp on the edge of the large terraces that were crawling with people, ancient rusting machinery, huts, markets, chicken farms, and the remains of the pit's former structures. Looking around, there were several op options of where to go from here. Ooh, neat! Yay, we made it! We unlocked, got far enough to unlock a new class, the Echo. So that's great. Oh, cool. Well, this has been really exciting. Um, I think I'm going to save our this until the next um, the next session. Um, yeah, that sounds like a good idea to me. I'm feeling a little like fatigued. Like I want to make good decisions here. So, all right, we made it to pit nine. Thanks everybody for sitting in to session two. I really appreciate it. Um, and we'll see you next time.